I still think there's still this desire to see three dimensions, the illusion of three dimensions on a two-dimensional surface created by a human hand. And hyperrealism involves that technique. I think it's a, it's a language that, 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 that people can understand. Uh, it's, it's one that, that has a wide reach. I needed to have that so I could have that conversation with, with the audience. A blank canvas is, is, you know, the most philosophical thing in the world. It's like anything is possible. That possibility, that endless possibility, is, 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 is quite a conundrum, isn't it? You know, what do we paint? What do we create? As soon as you make one mark, then those possibilities are narrowed. What I've always enjoyed is when I've got that white sheet of paper in front of me, or that white canvas, is what story am I going to tell? Because essentially I'm a storyteller. I decided to do a project on um, the Moor markets. I go through the markets every day and I soon uh, became uh, aware that it was a great hub of diversity in Sheffield where you see so many different faces and different cultures. So it became an obvious choice to use as um, a base for this portrait project. When you look at a portrait, and the portrait's looking out at you. There's a discourse, there's a conversation, there's something happening. It's a silent one, but people try and then fill that silence with their own ideas of what's happening, what's going on, what's that person's story. Although I'm not interested in their story because they are archetypes. They are representations of a group, a community, a group of people. It's about the diversity of that group of people as individuals, but more so as a group. I always start with the eyes. I think as soon as you get the eyes right, the painting grows around that central kind of focal point of the eyes. Fundamentally, it's the eyes that everyone focuses on when they first look at a human face. So to begin with, the paintings took roughly about a month to produce, slowly working in and trying to find my way, and find my feet. But as the exhibition has progressed, I'm getting much quicker at, at producing the pieces. So about two to three weeks, but I work concurrently on, on different paintings. Um, when one bit's done, or one tiny detail's done, I take it away, put it back on the wall, take another one off the wall. While that's drying, I work on another fine detail, uh, uh, you know, the minutiae of another portrait. Do I get bored? No, is not really. Um, I've been doing it for 20 years and I know how, how to build a painting. It's like building a house. You have to start with the foundations and then you build up and build up and you add layers and things and you get your plasterers and your wallpaper and your decorators and then, you know. So, I understand that process, so I know that it's not one that essentially with this work can be done overnight. It needs patience to produce the paintings and I have made a friend of patience. <laughs> 